Hello, welcome to COC TV. With me today we have Pius. Thank you for having me. It's an honor to be here. And Lambi. Great to be here. Good evening. You're welcome. We're pleased to have you from wherever you are watching us. On this episode, we're discussing when all hope is lost, finding strength in difficult times. Nandi, you could help us. Uh, how difficult are the times? Oh, well, um, the times are actually um, challenging, difficult, however you want to put it. So, um, especially in Nigeria in recent times, we find out that there's been a lot of um, new development in the last couple of weeks and months. And um, we've, we've, we've literally gone from fire pan to fire. <laughs> right? So you find out that um, a, very, a very recent development is the hiking fuel price. Um, people were already complaining before now that things are difficult, they are unable to pay their bills and all of that. And you know, um, when the fuel price hike um, happened just a couple of days ago, um, it threw people off balance. You could see videos and pictures of people online trekking for long distances. People have to spend almost twice the amount they used to spend before buying fuel for their vehicles. Um, people could not afford transportation and you see people clamoring for work from home and all of that. So all of these are some things that we can find, we can term as difficult times, right? So there are other things that have been happening generally, but this is one very typical example of what we can term as difficult times. People are unable to um, pay their bills, people are unable to cater for their basic needs before you talk of wants, right? So yeah, these are actually difficult times we can we can talk about here. Yeah. Very well. Uh Generally, generally, people are going through a lot. Aside from the recent happenings, in, in the lives of individuals, there are difficult times. What are those hard times that we could lay our hands on that people go through, Paris? Well, I feel um, greater than you know, the hardship that is brought about by the new administration that we are in. Uh, there are people who are actually passing through the hard times brought about by illnesses. There are some persons who lost a loved one and there are some persons who are down with chronic diseases. Hunger also is another hard time that we are all in. And there are some persons who are actually um, are overwhelmed with failure at the moment things are not working out the way they really uh, anticipated. Uh, some, some parents are actually um, mourning maybe they lost a, um, their child and some you know you are trying to raise your children in the nurture and in the admonition of the lord the child is going right the daughter is going the other way and you're just wondering what exactly is the problem you are giving your best but you're not seeing the result that you really anticipate so this in addition to what uh, you know my colleague have said are some of the hard times that we are all in it is greatly overwhelming. According to, um, I think, uh, one of the speakers that we once had in the House of Assembly, he said that it is audible to the deaf and visible to the blind. The blind. Yeah, things <coughs> are very, very hard at the moment. True. I, I think there's prolonged singlehood for some people. Yeah. Uh, they actually want to get married, but it's not forthcoming. Uh, the spouse or failed relationships. Uh, you mentioned health, uh, failed businesses, you just talked about overwhelming effect of failure. Failure could be in any sphere at all. Education is there and then people just go through a whole lot of stress and their academics and all. So today we want to see how, how uh, we can find strength when we go through these difficult times and we get practical guide on how we could you know, overcome failures and these challenges as they come to us. Is it, is it, is it true that the Christian the child of God, the believer, is not immune to hardship. It's not immune to difficulties. What do you have to say on that, Pius? I think uh, if you look at the book of Matthew, you know, it says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and every other thing shall be added unto you. Now the question is, what are those other things that will be added unto you? Is it that, you know, when you become a Christian, life will become rosy for you? When you become a Christian, everything is going to be going on smoothly for you? Um, if you look at the life of Job, we are told that m a man born of a woman is of few days and these days are filled with troubles. As long as you are a human being on earth, you are likely to be faced, you are, li you, you are likely to face challenges. Challenges will come around you. Personally, I believe that challenges are the twin brothers, twin brother and twin sister of Christianity. You cannot be a Christian without 
you know, being faced with challenges. Even Paul told Timothy, you know, in the Bible, he said, as a true soldier of Christ, you must endure hardship. These things will surely come. Okay, so uh, I feel um, as Christians, it is necessary for us to be reminded of the fact that being a Christian does not, you know, divorce you from facing challenges. You need most of these things. And sometimes they are the things that will help you to even be more focused and involved in the heavenly race. But the good news is God himself will never allow you to be tried beyond your current capacity. So whether you are trekking now, whether you have to trek for two kilometers a day or something to get to your place of work, God has already placed in you the capacity to be here. The, the, the strength and the stamina for you to withstand those hardship and it won't last forever it's just for a while okay. we shall overcome amen there's, there's a line there's a line you 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 said yeah uh, that difficulties is a twin brother and twin sister of christianity of christianity yeah. all right just hold that thought so i was i was with this group of people one time and we're talking about hardship okay yeah and then a, whole, a, a good number of the people there had the opinion that they, they should not suffer yeah because someone made a, made a point he said as a christian you must suffer that was the way he put it mm -hmm. and then these other people said no you must not suffer and it's, it's not a positive thing to say that you must suffer and then they're like no we must not suffer like there's a way we could live without actually suffering <coughs> but is that possible is it okay and then what is hardship what is hardship? What is difficulties? We've just mentioned a couple of things that uh, are difficult times and make up difficult times. You know, the truth is, as Christians, our friends, our loved ones, our family members are going to die. And then we, of course, are going to die someday. But when we die, we will not be there to experience yeah. the hardship here. Yeah? But the vacuum that, cre that is created when our loved ones die sometimes causes us you know, pain and difficulty. Yeah. So we are going to have those times when the business, of course, it's, it's normal that in business there are cycles, yeah? there are the highs and the lows. So when, when it's the low time, there's some kind of hardship and difficulty. There's sometimes tough choices that we have to make. Yeah. So it is true that as a Christian, you need to, you will actually have hard times. And then Pius has just said, quoting the scripture, that we need to endure it. Now, Nabi, I'm going to come to you. Help us. How do you advise the young man out there, the young woman out there, the elderly person out there? Generally, how do we get strength when we're down? Okay, so <clears throat> there are actually, um, first of all, I, before I even say anything about that, uh, I, I beg to differ a bit about the idea of suffering as a Christian. Um, yeah, it's it's challenges, that, like my brother Payo said, challenges um, are the twin brother of Christians. Uh, that's, that's true. You can't really be a true Christian and not face challenges, right? Yeah. But at the same time, um, there's, a, there's, a, there's a wrong notion that a lot of people have that um, as a Christian, you cannot be rich. You cannot be wealthy. You cannot live a life of, of, of abundance, right? So I think that um, it's important to note that the fact that you are a Christian does not mean that you cannot live an abundant life. Doesn't mean that you cannot live a life without um, a life without suffering. In quotes. When I say suffering, I mean poverty, right? That kind of suffering. But there are other other kinds of suffering, other kinds of challenges that we face. Because as, as Christians, before we are Christians, we are first human beings, right? Sure. And as human beings, we we'll always face those challenges. So one of the things I think that um, that, that helps us to helps us to find strength in the time of hardship is um, community. Community is is very important, not just for Christians. Generally speaking, um, when uh, when people go through hard times, you see people going through depression, going through. Some people have committed suicide. We've had several stories. Luckily, I think I don't think we've had as much as much stories this year as we had maybe last year or the year before that of people committing suicide, people jumping into the lagoon and all of that. Now these people must have faced challenges, must have faced hard times. And one of the things that makes it worse is when they isolate themselves from other people around them so one of the things that i think one of the very key things is community and it's important to be in the midst of god's people right as a christian uh, we need to be in the midst of god's people constantly because those people can encourage you in the book of hebrews chapter 10 verse 25 and 26 right? we should encourage one another right we should encourage one another daily 
they do share urgent on that, right? So as a Christian, if I'm going through a hard time and, I'm, and I am in the midst of other Christians, right, I should be able to receive that encouragement from them and vice versa. So that's one of the one of the very key things I think can help us to endure hardship community, right? I think uh, no.